Hello everyone. Welcome to Biotechnica YouTube channel. Today, I'm here again with another interesting topic, CSI Net exam strategy for 100% marks. Well, if I were a student now, I would have probably laughed at this topic. 100% marks, is that even a thing? Well, now I am pretty confident that yes, a student, if he gives his 100%, his or her 100%, then definitely it will be a guaranteed success. No one can actually stop them from scoring nothing less than 100%. But what do we need for that? We need some kind of strategy. We need certain kind of plan. We need to be dedicated. We need to revise. So today I'm going to show you some five pro tips which are definitely going to help you clear this exam and not only clear but come out with flying colors. Let's look at the first strategy. Get a printout of the syllabus. Yes, you heard me right. You need a hard copy. I am emphasizing on that. Why? You can make a checklist of the important topics. And in fact, once you finish a topic, ticking correspondingly after completing a topic several times will give you confidence and also a sense of accomplishment. Second is you have to learn the syllabus. Yes, you have to memorize the syllabus. You need to know which subtopics are present under which unit. You have to select some six to seven or if you can extend seven to eight units from the syllabus. So don't make the mistake of studying all 13 units for your preparation. That's a wrong thing. You can just select some seven to eight topics in the syllabus and ensure that you prepare it properly. And that's what you have to learn. That's what you have to memorize. What topics are present under those units so that you don't miss anything and also you are on absolute track. You will know which is which are important points or which are important topics, which are important subtopics. So while preparing the exam, you should know the complete syllabus. It helps you prepare the study plan. Most important thing is you will be saving time. If you study haphazardly, picking up topics randomly, you will have no clue where you are standing with your preparation. So put your energies, all your energies in the right direction. You channelize all your energies in the right direction, which is only for preparation, learning, understanding the concepts. Second strategy for this is plan a study schedule. Yes. So what you need to do, you need to prepare a timetable or a routine, if not very explicitly, but at least some detailing must be there, which topic to study on which day, time you can skip. This will help you manage time very efficiently, helping you to study in a very, in a very effective way. So question is how much time should you spend for studies every day? Well, ensure that you at least study five hours for your daily topics, for new topics, for things which you haven't studied before or which are complicated. Keep an additional two hours only specifically for revision. Whatever you have studied in a day, you must go through that. Another point is the plan schedule should also contain a checklist of which topics you are completing, which topics are left, which topics you have to revise again. You can also take the help of your mobile. There are many applications which will help, help you plan, set reminders, set alarms and plan your study schedule. Another interesting schedule that I'm going to give you is 
when you are studying in a day ensure that in the morning hours you go for studying the more difficult topics that requires your full attention because morning is the time when you are very alert you are fresh your mind is fresh and you can learn and accept a lot more noon hours keep for something that you find interesting that will not put you to sleep even if something is theoretical till the time you find it interesting it will keep you grow going else you can also practice some numerical problems or even you can practice general aptitude in the evening times try to go for only revision of what you have studied throughout the entire day and plus you can go for some question practice as well third strategy for getting 100% marks yes revision extremely important so either you can make flow charts like how i have been teaching you by flow charts so either you can make flow charts like this or you can make some short notes so basically you want to use some visual presentation what your mind perceives is very important for preparing for a particular competitive exam so go for imagination go for visual representations and that is going to increase your memory power alternatively if you don't have time to make your own flow charts or tables you can go for biotechnica study aids or biotechnica visual aids so we already have something which is in the flow chart form yes all your csr net topics will be available as a flow chart how easy that will be to study isn't it apart from that you have a concept called concept table we have a book of concept table which will point out the differences between two similar concepts for example if you want to study the differences between glycolysis and tca cycle with all the points and the sub points everything will be made clear to you and most importantly in one place another thing from the house of biotechnica is concept wheel concept wheel is a accumulated information present in a wheel let's say you want to learn about gpcr everything every points about gpcr is not only mentioned in short points but they are even colored so how interesting it will be to study and mostly you will be able to recollect them during the exam which is the key part so learning topics with the visual presentation it will definitely help you retain concepts and also memorize concepts the third strategy continuation is make your own notes you have to practice and memorize by writing as much as you can whatever you stu you are studying have a habit of writing them down try to make only short notes don't take detailed ones otherwise you will end up with just a book that's not what we want so you have to understand the topic have good knowledge of the topics otherwise you will simply end up preparing detailed notes next thing what you need to do in your notes is apart from keeping them short try to keep gaps between the notes and highlight these following things important terms gene names causative agents which disease what uh, what is the causative agent what is the location subcellular location or location of a particular process what is the function of a gene or what is the function of a molecule or a protein different formulas highlight all these things the units which are used like enzymes in enzymes or in ph buffer or thermodynamics the entropy enthalpy all this unit should be made very clear notes are a very important tool for later revision because you cannot revise from the books from wherever you have studied so ensure you make proper types of notes next strategy study from the best source so question is what 
is the best source? Well, we all know we can refer to standard reference books. But isn't it taking a lot of time to refer to standard reference books? Going through each chapter, understanding the concepts on our own is really very difficult and time consuming for most of the students. So what I will suggest is don't shy away from taking help and guidance from the experts of the field. The ones who have track record of churning out CSIR net qualifiers for tens and fifteens of years continuously. So you must take help from those experts of this field. Why exactly? Because they know which are the important areas of focus. They can help you prepare effectively in a very short span of time. Yes. Time is something which we don't have, right? So you want to prepare effectively within a short span of time. For that, you need to know which is the best source. Well, you can always come to Biotechnica at any day. Let me tell you students, college exam preparation and CSIR net exam preparation is really very different. For college, you have to appear for essay type questions. But in CSI net, you have to go for multiple choice questions. For college type, you have to just get the gist of the concept so that you can write in the essay. For CSI net, you need to go into extreme details and you also need to know the concept. So ensure that your basics are very clear. Here, you don't require any basics. If you just understand the concept, if you just know the gist, you can at least write down something. But here, basics are very important. You cannot study a topic superficially. Here, superficial knowledge is sufficient. So as you can see, when you are coming from college to CSI net preparation, you have to change your preparation pattern. And if you have no clue what to do, then you should take guidance from the experts. Choose only what is best and has a track record throughout. The last strategy for the day is practice lots of questions daily. So the best way to polish your skills and improve your performance is to practice how much ever questions you can. So what can you do? Well, we have Biotechnica's AI powered Toughnet and Aimnet series, which are in the form of the CSIR net exam question paper pattern. How easy will be that? Sometimes students complain that when we appear for the CBT mode, we will strain our eyes. We are not habituated for the mock tests. Well, Biotechnica already prepares the students with their Toughnet and Aimnet exams for the competition also and for a properly timed examination online. The classroom and the Biotechnica students also get weekly tests on weekly basis and they get something which are called as quests which are on monthly basis. Well, this constantly keeps observing your performance and also monitors the marks that you are getting and helps you to score better again and again. Well, these were my technical strategies and my personal strategy over here. A pro tip is that always try to believe in yourself and try to keep a positive attitude. Always try to be optimistic and believe that yes, you can. No one can stop you from getting 100% marks. With that thought, thank you everyone for your time and attention.